Montreal Canadiens jumped on the ice Monday morning in Brossard in preparation for their Tuesday exhibition game against the Toronto Maple Leafs at the Bell Centre. Canadiens assistant coach Jean-Jacques Daigneault spoke about the death of his former teammate Todd Ewan. Well, he was a very good teammate, he was a creative person, I know he liked to play the guitar, I know he liked to play the piano, uh, liked to write songs, so he had a, he had a nice creative mind, uh, he was a good family man as well. So I, I, was, I was devastated when I heard the news yesterday, Mark, uh, Mark Bergevin knew that I had played with him here for a few years in Montreal. and. Um, he came up with the news and uh, hit me really hard. Forward Michael McCarron, who was originally scheduled to be on Team B Monday morning, was moved to Team A at the last moment. I thought I've had a good camp so far, um, showing what I can do. And um, But then again, we were playing against our own guys. I felt like I was better in rookie camp because I could, I could play my style. I could bang and get in front of the net and, and uh, stick guys. So i um, not going to do that to, to Subban or Markov or for those guys. I don't imagine what they would do to me. But... Um, <laughs> Canadian's goaltender Kerry Price spoke afterwards about how his team is preparing for three-on-three -three overtime. You know, I don't have a whole lot of experience with it other than shinny hockey in the summertime. So, and I know that's not all that much fun, but for a goaltender. But um, at the same time, um, you know, everybody else is doing it, so we just have to figure out a way to to make it work for us. Would you prefer that those goals scored three-on-three -three, do that count on your on your stats? <laughs> well. I'm kind of hoping to get a few more assists, so, you know. <laughs>